There are several different ways to expand the canvas and many reasons to do it. One time is when using the cropping tool. In this particular image, this is a little too close to the edge for me and I don't like the direction it's pointing in. So when I go to my cropping tool, there's no way staying within the constraints of the image size that I can get this to do what I want it to. So if I click on this, you're going to see here's the rule of thirds. I want this pointing from here directly to that corner and I want more of this up in this area of the image. So there's no way I can do it because there isn't enough information here and here to do it. Well the interesting thing, and I think this is only on the new CS6, I can drag this this way and expand the canvas until I get this see now I've got it exactly where I want it to be now I don't like the rotation so I just click out here until I get the double headed arrow and now I can rotate it so I want this to stay inside of this square so I'm going to bring this down a little bit whoops I guess I gotta go up with it So you can see that we just keep moving this. We don't have to worry about this. We're just creating new canvas. That's what this area is out here. Now I've got this right about where I wanted it to be. I want that to be there and this pointing at this corner. So now I'm just going to click the crop setting. And it's cropped it. I say, well, what do I do with all this? Well, this is where Content Aware comes in. If I First I have to go on over here and get the magic wand and select these areas. If you click on one area, hold the Shift key down you can select multiple areas. So I've got all of the blank areas of the canvas now selected. Now I just go on up to image. Whoops, sorry. I go to edit, fill. Now you have several different settings in here in fill and it's usually not going to be on content aware. It's going to be on one of these up here. So you have to get down and make sure you select content aware and then we just click OK. Now this takes a few minutes because it's it's doing a lot of work for you. It's amazing how well this works and it's really allowed me to use many images that I couldn't have used before because I just didn't crop them properly when I shot them. So here it comes. And there it is. We can see that it's added all of that in for us. And now this is in the location we want it to be. And it's done a pretty good job of maintaining the same lines, even the same curves. See in these cases how that curves right in where it's supposed to be? Now I'm going to go on up and do and it. And it's random. You can do this twice in a row and it'll give you two different results. So if you're not happy with the way it works the first time, just do Content Aware a second time and you'll probably get a different result. Now I'm going to go on up and do Deselect. Now sometimes, you can see how we get this little line in here, occasionally you'll pick those up. And that's no big deal, you just click over on your healing tool, come on over and just drag the healing tool across that line, and it will disappear. If it doesn't, oops, so we missed a few spots, just go back in and do it again. Now we'll do the same thing down here. Let's see if I'm any luckier this time and do a better job. No. Uh, there we go. It's now gone. Now I'm going to work this image, so I'm not going to worry too much about these little artifacts to the left. But now if we click on the crop tool again, just so we can check our, our settings for the rule of thirds, there it is. It's right where we want it to be. Now we're going to go on up to History, and I'm going to take it back to before the crop. Whoops, I've got to cancel that. Before, after. Let me see how just that little rotation makes the image much more powerful. And I'm going to blend all of these edges so I'm not too worried 
Now I'm probably going to pull some of this, these colors into there to take the dominance out of that. But that's all there is to using content-aware fill and cropping and expanding your canvas.